Hey YouTubers, um, welcome back um, to my video. In this video I'll be doing a Autumn Butter London haul. And me and my mum recently discovered this brand and we just thought it was excellent the first time we used it. Totally loved it. Just lasts for ages. So I'm going to start the haul now. And it's kind of a haul review kind of thing. So I'm going to start with my personal favourite and it's this one. And it's called Sun Baker and it's this really nice orange. I'm wearing it here. And I just got it today and I just really love it. Such a nice colour. It's orange with a, the hint of sparkle. Perfect for any occasion. I like this one. It's really easy to get off and put on and it lasts for ages. I had an, and I had another one which I'll show you in a sec. And it lasted for a good week without before it started chipping away. And it's just really nice. So that's that's the first one. The second one I've got is this one. It's a really gorgeous purple one. And this one is called HRH. And I believe this is from the Royals collection. And this is just really nice. Just a lovely purple colour. These nail varnishes are on the slightly pricey side at 12 to 15 pounds each. Depends on where you buy them from. But I'm definitely going to say quality over quantity because you get what you pay for and they do last for ages. I'm pretty sure these will get you through a nuclear warfare quite easily. And the next one I've got is this one and it's called Lilibet's Jubilee and it's a really gold kind of colour. When you're wearing it, it almost looks like you've dipped your fingernails in chrome and it is just gorgeous. Really metallic-y, slightly shimmery, just really nice. It's got a tiny sort of purpley grey undertone to it. It's really nice. The lion in here just doesn't do these colours justice, I don't think. The next one I've got is this mossy green kind of colour. And this one's called Wallace. And this one's really nice. This is a good colour. My mum's wearing this on her toes right now. And it looks really good. This one's, I think this one's from the Metallics. And it is a really nice metallic-y colour. Sort of like a green, sort of yellowy green moss kind of colour. Again, the lighting in here doesn't really show them off very well, but they are gorgeous. The next one I have is this absolutely gorgeous gold. And this one is called The Full Monty. This one's absolutely gorgeous. This one looks like you've dipped your fingers in gold, like liquid gold. This one's gorgeous. And this one's tough to get off. It's, it literally stays on the for ages. And it's nice, just a really gold shimmery colour. Really good for like a party if you were going to go out and wear something like this. It's good. Next one I have is this red. This one's called Knees Up. This one's a nice colour. It's just metallic-y red colour. Um, just metallic-y red colour. That's it really. And it's really nice as well. Would look, would look really good if you were in like a dark coloured outfit and wanted a bit of pop of colour. This one's a good one. To have this one because it's metallic here as well. So it looks good. And the next one I have is this pink. Which my mum just bought today. She picked this one. And this is a really nice colour. It's called Teddy Girl. Another thing really good about this brand is the names are brilliant. Um, not as good as Barry M names but close. <laughs> but this one's good. This one's a really nice matte pink colour. And it's just a really nice basic pink so you could wear it with literally anything. If you just want a casual day out or work or even school you could wear this one because it's a nice peachy colour. Which is really nice. Next one I have is the matte red. This one hasn't got any shimmer or anything. And it's called Come to Bed Red. So quite a cheeky cheeky name there. Especially because it's red. <laughs> and this one's nice. It's just a basic red. It's not like a really bright red. It's, it's a slightly darker red than most reds. But this is really nice. Again a good against the dark coloured outfit. Like black or something. If you were in like your classic black dress, this would look quite nice, I reckon. The last two I have is this glitter one. And this one is called Frilly Knickers. Again, such incredible names, I reckon. Really quite cute. And this one is just really glittery. So, yeah, it's just like a whitey cream coloured glitter. Multicoloured glitter bits in it. Which is quite pretty. You can wear these, the glitters you can wear as top coats, or you can layer them up to make just a glittery nail varnish. And I think 
it's really nice. The glitter is impossible to get off. But they do last for a long time and they are really pigmented and really nice. Best glitter nail varnish, nail varnish I've ever used so far. And the last one I have is this one. This one is called Henley Regetta. And it's this really nice bluey, bluey green turquoise even. I'm not sure what you would call this. And this one's a glitter. Again, this one can be used as a top coat or or a glitter nail varnish. And again, this is my favourite glitter one which I've got because I love this colour. And it's so sparkly. It's absolutely gorgeous. And pretty good. My thoughts on these nail varnishes are that they are brilliant and so tough. As I said before, you could probably get through Chemical Warfare in it and probably last you that. And they last for ages. Super pigmented colours. This one I only had to use two coats before to get it to show up quite strongly. And even one coat was quite strong, but I decided to put two to make the colour show up even more. This one's just an Avon nail varnish, which um, I don't know how I got, but I got it. <laughs> Again, yeah, just really good nail varnishes. And yeah, I'll probably do reviews on them after I've used them a bit for a bit longer because we've only just discovered them. But they, in my opinion right now, they are really good nail varnishes and I would suggest them to anyone because they are good. Again, a little bit on the pricey side, but they're definitely quality over going to stay for these. Um, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next videos. And don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook pages and my other videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. And MHG Angelica now has a Twitter page, so just search for Inge MHG Angelica on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.